Do these three things to secure yourself a happy future. Hello, I'm Jason Webb and I want to tell you about three things that you can do to secure yourself a happy future. Now, obviously there are things in life that we can't control. There are things like fate. There are things like acts of God or force majeure, as the insurance companies call it. These things we can't control. But what I want to talk about here is the things that we can control and the things that we can do to give ourselves a secure future. Number one, look after your physical and your mental well-being. Without your physical health and without your mental health, everything else just falls away. You need the physical body to be able to get up in the morning, do the things you need to do. You need the mental health. You need to be able to get the focus you need. You need to be able to keep your spirits up. You need to be able to deal with all the other things that life may throw at you, all the things you can't control. For that, you need the mental strength. Make it part of your routine to take care of your physical body and your mental health. Number two, don't put 100% of your financial security in somebody else's hands. Make sure that your ability to pay your bills isn't 100% coming from somebody else. And what I mean is, relying on somebody else to pay you a weekly or monthly wage. And if for any reason they stop paying you that weekly and monthly wage, you can no longer pay your bills. You can no longer financially support yourself. Try to avoid being in that situation. It's quite common nowadays for people to talk about side hustles and you know little jobs on the side. Try and do that if you can. Try to find a way that you're gonna be in control. So whatever happens, if the company you work for shuts down, if the company you work for decides that you're too old to work for them anymore. Whatever happens, and these things can happen, make sure that you've got some way that you can financially provide for yourself, provide for your family, provide for anybody who's relying on you to provide for them. Make sure that isn't completely in somebody else's hands. Because again, a company can turn around at a moment's notice and just say, We've decided to shut the company down. The shareholders and the directors, whoever else, have decided it's not financially viable to keep this company going. And they've decided that it's more profitable to actually lay everybody off than to keep the company going. And suddenly you're left without a way to pay the bills. So don't rely 100% on somebody else. Try to plan out ways that you can bring in your own income it doesn't have to be the whole of your income. You know, it doesn't have to replace your full-time job. But just try to find something that would tide you over if suddenly that emergency hit. If you suddenly found yourself without your main source of income, something that could maybe just bring in enough to even pay some of the bills, it would certainly be helpful. And three, don't let negativity consume you. Now, in this day and age of social media, Suddenly we're all being encouraged to be negative. Suddenly everybody can become a critic. As soon as somebody posts something on Twitter, for example, we can all dive in there and we can be a critic. We can say what we don't like. We can say how we would have done this differently. We can say how everything that everyone else is doing is bad and we're the only ones who know the right way to do everything. And all that's doing is just spewing out negativity all the time. Don't get into that mindset where you're looking at everything through negative eyes. Try and be nice about things. If all you're ever doing is spewing out negativity, then that will consume you because everything you see in life is you go outside and you look at the, the trees and the grass and the birds and everything else. You're always going to be looking through those negative eyes. You're basically training your brain to see the worst in everything. And if you train your brain to see the worst in everything, then you're never gonna see the best in anything. You're never gonna see the happiness. You're never gonna go outside and say, oh, the sky's blue and the sun's shining and the birds are tweeting. All you're ever gonna be looking at is for the bad things. What's that sound I can hear in the, in the background? Is that a drill? Is somebody drilling? Why is somebody drilling on a day like this? It's, you're just always gonna be looking for that negativity. And you don't want to go through your life doing that. Because if you look for negativity, then negativity is what you're going to find. So don't even train your brain to look for that negativity. Train your brain to see the positivity. And yes, that's easier said than done. You know, this world 
tries to beat you down. Every time you try and say anything positive on social media, you'll get the negative people flocking in and trying to pick it apart like they're picking on some carcass of your long dead hope. You know, so um, just don't feed that, don't feed the negativity. To try to look at everything positive. If you go online or if you're in a conversation with somebody in real life even, that still happens, you know, and you find like a negative thought rising to your head, just control yourself. Just take that moment to stop and think and say, what am I actually saying here? Is what I'm saying here actually bringing anything productive to this conversation? Because there is a time and a place for critical comment. But if you are just saying something negative to try and make yourself look better, to try and be aloof by looking down on everyone else, then then just stop and just don't do it. If you see something and you believe there's something positive you can bring to it, if you can say, excellent, that's good, I like what you've done there, that's really cheered my day up, thank you for doing that, yeah, and do that, yes, that's, that will make you feel good. You've given somebody a compliment, that makes them feel good, and you'll feel good because you've given some positivity out. Just don't let that negativity stew inside you. It just won't do you any good. So there you have it. There are three things to focus on to give yourself a happy future. I've been Jason Webb. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you have a happy day. Bye for now.